Jesus. Let the couple come. One minute, one minute. One minute. Come, Mama, come. Let me bring Mama. Come, Mama, you help us. You put your skirt nicely. You can pull your skirt. Thank you, Mama. Thank you. Jesus. Just lift up. Ah, what's the left Mister, did your mother tell you that she has lost children? Yes. Huh? She told you? Yes. There's a serious problem in your family. You can I think that you're even afraid of telling the truth. motivation. There has been a lot of bad experiences when you sleep. There are things that you are seeing. No? So what are these things? What are they telling you? God is trying to tell you and show you this is what is happening. The person is not losing this. Place. It's you and your sister, isn't it? It's you and your sister. But there were children. Yeah. A brother, an older brother, and died. died. Come on, demon! Come on! Jesus. Jesus' name. Leave that chest, you demon. The name of Jesus. Name of Jesus. Name of Jesus. Jesus' name. Leave that chest. <laughs> Demon. Leave it. Hurry. Come here. Come here. Hurry. 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 Jesus. Huh? You are a demon. <laughs> huh? <laughs> what are you doing here? <laughs> huh? God. What are you doing here? <laughs> huh? Komudi <laughs> answers you. <laughs> huh? Komudi <laughs> Speak, you demon! <laughs> Omudia. Huh? Eh? la man. Huh? Eh? Speak you demon. In the name of Jesus. Hurry. Hurry, hurry.
Stand up, mom. So you can't find someone to help you, mom, so that you can go. You can't find one. Come here and give me a testimony. <laughs> but I'm also hearing the issue of a job. A job, sister. So I don't even wish you to work, to find any any job. <coughs> you hear me, sister? Yeah? Yeah, I don't even wish you. Let me see God fighting for you. This embarrassment has been cancelled. Jesus! Jesus, my dinner! Jesus! Jesus! 
my brother come from Malawi. I wish to touch you people again. Lift my mouth. Come sir. Let me help you. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. Touch your heart. Jesus. This man is educated. Jesus. Very humble. Come, let's help him up. Come, Paul. Come, sir. Touch your heart. Jesus. Come, man. Okay. <laughs> we don't want to pray for you with your heart. Even this mama should be free. Thank you, Lord. You know, uh, you. go tell your sister I said she's free. Thank you, Jesus. That woman has suffered. Mm -hmm. Really suffered. Thank you, Lord. But there's another one. Mm -hmm. I see this one, I see this other one. Yes, I heard that. Two sisters. Yes, I see this one, I see this one. So yes. There are two. Yeah. Yes. So I believe all your sisters are free. Thank you, Lord. This one was working in hospital. Mm -hmm. I think we have all children again. Yeah, okay. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus! Ah! <laughs> God bless you. Go and prosper like that. Thank you, Jesus. Go and prosper. Thank you, Jesus. Go and prosper. You are free. People used to have dream things, they happen. Now nothing. God will restore you now. You understand? Yes. Because you were prayerful. So, congratulations. Thank you, Jesus. I'm giving you one man. Thank you. My names are Thomas Nepawe from Limpopo in Makado. Uh, the woman standing next to me is my wife, Pauline Nepawe, and we are all coming from Makado uh, in Limpopo. The challenge that brought us here is uh, my case wherein I have been working for almost eight, eight months. Uh, my contract lapsed in July 2023. The challenges that brought us here is in respect of my case, I, I've, I've been out of work for almost eight months. My employment contract with my previous employer ended in 31st July 2023. I've been receiving regrets letters from various employment that i have applied for and i have come together with my wife to seek the intervention of god in our lives and we have come here also for impartation of of the work of god in our lives amen the job, how was that affecting you, your family, the challenges that uh, I faced, uh, it affected me in my life in that uh, as I was not working, my wife was supplying uh, the necessities of our household. Uh, I was not able to make it to meet ends in our family and she was the one supporting us and with with all this uh, i've also realized that those who were next to me were also uh, parting away from me and i realized that there was a, a spirit of rejection in my life Th those who were next to me i realized that they were parting away from me and uh, i realized that uh, this needs God's intervention. Uh, other than any other thing, uh, you can do anything to anybody, but uh, if there is a spirit that is against you, you need God's intervention. And that is why we came here. We, we both had an opportunity to see the Apostle 
and uh, the apostle prophesied on us. Uh, he started with my my wife uh, on the area of her body where there is something that, that is moving on her body. And in my case, he directly went to to my case that I'm going to receive the job within a month. And I believed it and I took it that the men of God have said it and I believe it. There were cases that he mentioned that I went to various places uh, to seek God intervention, but it was to no prevail. And up to now, from what he said, uh, that I'm going to get breakthrough and I believed it that the man of God is saying I'm going to get breakthrough. I happened to to be interviewed last week and I'm going for interview this week on Wednesday and I am 100% uh, sure that uh, this will bring uh, the past over in my life because I'm going to receive a massive job that I, I used to earn quite a lot of money and my family is going to be fed with the money that I will be earning. My area of specialization is in finance. I used to occupy the position of chief financial officer in a municipality and uh, my contract came to an end in July 2023. Uh, I've been working for more than 23 years in, in municipality in finance. To my surprise, when I receive regrets letters, uh, I, I, I picked up that uh, something is wrong. Uh, there could be a spirit that is not of God that is hindering me not to receive this particular job. But I believe the chief financial officer position is mine. And uh, uh, the, the, the apostle have said it, we, within a month I'm going to receive uh, uh, my breakthrough on my career. Thank you. My name is uh, Pauline, Mrs. Nepawe Pauline from Limpopo, Makadro. So I came here and I managed to see the man of God, Apostle J.B. Makananise, who prophesied to me that what is there inside me, because he can see the power of God, but he can also see there is something that is moving inside my stomach that is blocking me from, from hearing from God. So he prayed for me, oh, this thing is going to leave me today. So he prayed for me and I fell under the anointing. And I believe I'm going to see from God again. We also had an opportunity to see the man of God, Prophet Andres, uh, who have mentioned uh, in respect of the breakthrough that I'm going to receive uh, in my employment. He also said he see me driving a new car. Uh, I'll be driving a new car through uh, after realization of my, my new employment. And he also touched on my family's members' life. My si two sisters, the one who's, who's not well, and she's, he said to, to me that I must tell her that all is well. Uh, uh, God has seen her tears. God has seen the Christ that he has done for a very long time. And he also mentioned about our children, that all is it's well with them. Uh, whatever uh, the devil that wanted to penetrate on my children, it has been cut off in their lives in the name of Jesus. I managed to, to see Prophet Andres who prophesied to me and said, God is going to heal me today. He's going to heal me the pain on my back, on my shoulder, on the knees. So he prayed to me and I fell under the power. And I believe God I'm healed. And he asked about my children, my, the last born. I said, the last born is also here. And he, he, he said, he will be, my children will be delivered today as the, the last born is under attack. So I believe all is well in the name of Jesus. The prophecy is true. Thank you. Thank you. I'm, I'm a happy man. I'm so excited today. Uh, the prophecy uh, that was brought to us uh, by, by the apostle and the prophet uh, is 
coming to pass. I believe in the word of God and I believe in the prophets, the men of God that have given this prophecy today and it's going to be well with me and my family. All is well with me and my family. And I believe God is going to do great things that men have never thought about. And I, I, I'm joyous today. There's no one who's so happy like myself today. I don't know about the other people, but myself, I am so excited. Hallelujah. After receiving the prophecy, I felt joy, peace inside me. So I'm happy for what I have received today. And I thank God for leading me and directing me to this place. I seek God and really I found God in this place. I thank God for everything. Keep on following. Thank you. Yeah.